Hi, I'm Jerry Boyer. Welcome to Meeting of Minds with Jerry Boyer um, on um, Salem Podcast Network. Uh, my guest today, back for um, a second appearance, uh, is Dr. Robert Plummer, um, who is the New Testament chair at Southern Baptist. Um, and uh, we talked previously about, now this is confusing, I guess it's chiastic, um, his most recent book about Greek is the beginning Greek book. A year before that um, is the intermediate Greek book. So he did intermediate before beginner, uh, but you don't. I, that's not the order in which I think you should read them. So we talked at some length about his... his um, what what was the title of the of the intro book? Yeah, the intro is entitled <laughs> "Beginning with New Testament Greek." So if you kind of look at the the cover way back, it looks like "Beginning Greek." Yes, and then the second one is "Going Deeper with New Testament Greek." So you got "Beginning Greek" and "Deeper Greek." So they kind of have a, a they could parallel sort of expression. Well, yes, uh, this is the sequel, uh, "Deeper Greek," which uh, basically would you characterize this as an intermediate New Testament yes. Greek book? Yes, it's an intermediate grammar that's especially geared towards the classroom, towards the student. So not not a reference grammar that you're just that's made to just put on the shelf and look stuff up, but it's it's made to teach intermediate Greek. It's co-authored, I should mention, with Andreas Kostenberger and Ben Merkel. Uh, and I would say that this is a book that is meant to be read. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of textbooks are not really readable. It's more like there are a lot of textbooks are almost like class notes. So you go to the class and it's the same material, but the textbook isn't readable. There isn't a lot of prose in textbooks. Typically, there's just more like bullet points. This actually is written in a kind of a conversational style. So you this is my this has been on my bed table. This has been my nighttime mm. reading. I'm not <laughs> saying your, your writing yeah. puts me to sleep. Yeah. Dr. Palmer. I was wondering about that. Um, I do sleep after, but it doesn't put me yeah. to sleep. Uh, that's just the circadian rhythm that's responsible for that. And by the way, there's also a uh, laminate summary. Laminated charts, that's right, that summarize the textbook. And recently, these have been only $6.99 on Amazon, which is a really good price. It is. Um, and and they're, the beginning Greek also, I should mention, has a set of laminated charts with it. Um, now, both uh, for your viewers, both grammars have lots of free stuff that anyone can access. If you go to the website beginninggreek.com for this one, beginninggreek.com, and for this one, deepergreek.com. Now, there I will note, uh, I don't think you can get the first edition anymore, but there's a there's one that has revised edition on it here. Uh, some just um, some corrections and changes and updates. But, but uh, Jerry, just keep what you got. You're good. <laughs> I, cause I don't have the revised. You don't have the revised edition, uh, but I'll send you one. If you sit, I'll get your address after. I'll make sure you get a revised, a free revised edition. Hey, uh, well, you've, the, you've already sent me this. I feel like I'm already too much. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the Daily uh, Dose mug. Well, you need a book too. So well, we'll send you one. <laughs> B&H will send it to you. I, I'll ask them to, it's All right. fine. I appreciate yeah, that, yeah. thank you. Um, and, uh, but- your viewers, if they look at deepergreek.com, they'll see some of the distinctives of the textbook and and lots of free stuff too, like um, PowerPoint presentations for each chapter you can download for free, um, vocabulary flashcards for free, all that stuff. So uh, I don't think that people understand how doable this is. Uh, so your beginning Greek, or beginning with New Testament Greek, um, that book, so I, I was able to read through that a little bit each evening. And then Sunday afternoons, I went to um, the website. And you can also get to all of it through Daily Dose of Greek. That links to everything. And just went through the PowerPoints and went through the videos. You have videos for each of these. Um, and that's Sunday afternoons. I think that was maybe a little less than a year to get through that. And yeah. then maybe another six months of going deeper in the same thing. Um, so a year and a half to two years. And I'm a, I'm a really busy person. Um, so, and I was able to do that. And I'm, it's not like I'm a super quick learner. It's just, you just put in that time. Um, so this is very doable. And I, I think people, maybe because it's a slightly different alphabet or whatever, or because they didn't do well in high school Spanish, or people just don't think they're smart enough. But every Greek child learned Greek. <laughs> yeah, that's Even right. Even the and, dumb kids learned yes. Greek. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. So yeah, this and, is doable. Yes, I think prop, 
it is a hundred percent doable and very rewarding as, as you've discovered yourself, how enjoyable it is to be able to read the Bible in the original language. I mean, and it's something that literally thousands of people around the world, whether through this grammar or other grammars, are learning to do this. People who are retired, people who are mid middle of their life, people who are students, people in elementary school. Yes, you totally can do it. And it's very rewarding. Um, as you mentioned, there's all, all kinds of free instructional videos. And I'll mention we added something very recently on there. Um, I was going to grab it off here, but it's a PDF. If you go to beginninggreek.com and you go to the student downloads, it's the last thing that was added underneath there. It's um, a little a workbook of, of translation. Hmm. And uh, Greg Wolf put this together. He's a friend of mine. After you study this book, you'll know about 330 vocabulary words. So he's a computer guy. He said, give me all the verses in the New Testament that only use those words, only those words and nothing else. And so it has 611 verses. I mean, it's a nice little booklet hmm. and, and you won't run into a single vocabulary word that you haven't learned. Now, there are plenty of other verses that have a few words that you haven't learned as well, but, but that's a, a free little workbook, a reading book that people can joyfully apply the knowledge that they've learned. So. Uh, the other thing they can do is they can go to um, Daily Dose of Greek mm -hmm. um, and work their way through John's gospel now, or mm -hmm. you can go to the archive and work your way through Mark's gospel for example, mm -hmm. uh, th those who are lectionary people. I know you Baptists, that's, uh, what is that lecture? I don't know what that is. Uh, I know you, of course you know what it is, but a lot of Baptists don't use it, but uh, Episcopalians and Lutherans and Roman Catholics have a lectionary. That just finished Mark, mm -hmm. right? So, and yeah. now we're entering into the year of Luke. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have Luke, but you have Mark and you have John, right? We have, we have well, we're halfway through, we're going through John right now. So okay. people, if they go to dailydoseofgreek.com, and that's geared a little bit more the daily videos towards people who have some knowledge of Greek already. Although you, like you mentioned, there's basic instructional videos on there too. Right. Sending out a daily two to three minute screencast. We're writing on the text. They can hear my voice as they see me mark up the text. And and we also have those on apps, the on the Apple, the iOS app, the Android app. And that's a really efficient way to look at the archives or find find previous videos. But we have on the archives, all of the gospel of Mark, all of the book of Revelation, all of uh, first, second, third John, all the book of Philemon. So we have, I mean, literally, um, I think about two thousand uh, free downloadable videos. I didn't, I didn't see that you had Revelation. Mm -hmm. The uh, whole book of Revelation. Wow. Yeah. I got to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. That. Um. Uh, that's 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 well worth it. Um. At least I'll understand the grammar. Revelation, <laughs> the, the grammar is not very hard, really. I mean, there are some unusual dimensions to it, but uh, the vocabulary and syntax are, are not that difficult. Um, there's the biggest problem with Revelation for students is uh, some rare vocabulary, like for the word for frog and rainbow and dragon. They don't know some of this rare or all the stones and the, mm. you know, <laughs> New Jerusalem. It's just, you know, you never run into those. And then actually the grammatical irregularities, students usually don't really notice them, but there are a few grammatical irregular, like in other words, there won't be a, a agreement between a participle and the noun that it's describing and, and commentaries debate why this is and so on. But most beginning students really don't notice.